Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Just wanted to do a couple minute video this evening to show you guys update 6 for the Pocket Go S30. Um, I added a new core here that I found out existed today, actually. Also, I fixed this so you can see both PSPs again. While I'm here, I'll quickly show you. I added this, this PSP file, which launches a, a different... PSP from the one that launches your games. The reason is because some games work great and some games that used to work stopped working for some reason. So I put the old one back and the new one. So this way it's kind of the best of both worlds. This was already here but I updated the core. This is Watara Supervision. And it crashed. One more try. No, oh, whatever. She used the joystick, probably. Nope, that's not it either. It's probably just me. Apparently I'm really bad at this. Yeah, see, it's me. There we go. I was trying to do it too fast and the game doesn't respond like that. I made some changes here. This will bring up the RetroArch menu now instead of the power button. And if you want to quit, you tap the power button and it'll quit. I figure the power button's far enough out of the way it shouldn't get accidentally tapped. And if you do for some reason ever accidentally tap it, you can just turn on uh, quit twice, which will force you to have to double tap it to quit. Here I restored these. I noticed and had a couple people tell me they were missing, so I added them back. This is st uh, MAME standalone. Well, not standalone, MAME non-year core. 2003, 2010, 2015. So whichever ROM set you want to use, you're pretty much covered. I also updated Final Burn Neo, just because there was an update. Pico 8 is here, and it works. It prefers to use the uh, P8 format. So for those of you who do know what that is, or who don't know what that is, I should say, it basically means you just take your PNG game and use your actual uh, PC or Raspberry Pi Pico 8 that you paid for, and then you save the game as a P8 from there, and you can just put that over here.
This is new. We added Mega Duck. Well, I added Mega Duck. I'm also working on adding uh, Gambit that'll just let you click the trigger back there and switch pallets that way. It's not super important, but it's an interesting feature. Guess it's the D-pad. Yep. Oh. The reason why these matter it's not just because I mean it's partially because I like to preserve the history of consoles and the mega duck and supervision and things of that nature aren't that common but also because they're Game Boy clones that have their own library of games some of them are knockoffs and whatnot but they're still different from the actual Game Boy so it's still different game There's a few other things I'm still working on as well. I have a version of Mess that's running. And with that I can obviously use it to add other systems like Astrocade, Arcadia, things like that. So I'm going to keep working on that. And those will be included in future builds as well. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Take care.